Good morning, everyone. This is Rafe Gal. We are playing some more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And <clears throat> we have... So, I'm back at the... What is it? Market Square? Market Square. Um, all you missed was me walking here. I did a little bit of uh, extra shopping. Not much. Um, just to restock a few things. And I... Wanted to get back to this screen to finish fixing my toolbars <laughs> because it was driving me crazy and I didn't want to do it on stream. So we've got all the toolbars fixed. We're back uh, at the market square. Didn't miss any fights or anything. I redid the conversations from that half hour that I had to redo with the defender fight. Because I did like some housekeeping in that video before the actual defense of the inn. Uh, so we're going to do a walk through this area, just see if there's anything I missed, basically. And I believe there's there might be some new stuff. And then we're going to continue on. Uh, there was also like a, yeah, this house, I think, up here was a bit much for us at the time. But now we've got some magic, additional magic weapons, stuff like that. So... Um, let's see, we wanted... Like that. Okay, so our goal first is going to be to go down, just kind of do a loop around over here. Do we want to go this way first? And we're basically just running through quick to see if there's anything we missed, anything new. Stuff like that. Uh, we already went through that house, I believe, but I'll double check. Yes, that was the one with the weird summoning circle. Okay. And I don't believe we have a good way to get over here currently. Oh no. Swarms are the worst. <laughs> I do still have a couple extra scrolls of, uh... To get rid of disease, but... Let's go ahead and just, as fast as possible... Trying to get ahead of the disease that those things can cause. Can we retreat already? <laughs> Plagued horses. Okay, those are weird looking. Okay. 
Let's take a closer look. She's a drow, okay. Um, you're Kalesa, a cultist of Daskari. Why would Forn slander you? You're asking questions that are dangerous and... Um, I believe you. Forn is at the defender's heart. Okay. Is that a trap? It might be a trap. No, it doesn't look to be a trap. It looks like it's just loot. Okay, there's another area exit. So this was an area we hadn't been to through yet. Um, Let's move. should be able to make that. Oh no, stop it. Go away. No more swarms. Oh God. Why? Hopefully that was all of them. <laughs> like, genuinely, swarms are the worst. Um, okay, so we've got this section over here we haven't been to. I'm just gonna click on it and see what happens. Get another obstacle. Shadows. Lovely. Uh, those will only be... Only magic will work on them. we're managing to stay mostly in control here uh that's a lot of strength damage unfortunately but we do have two characters with lesser restoration now uh we're definitely gonna need two at least she's still down a little bit but it could be worse There's another area exit. And this is where we haven't been. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, cutscene even. The city has fallen. I can stop pretending to be a shopkeeper. Hey, there's the necromancer that we were dealing with. Nice. Okay, you focus down the necromancer. Um
Uh, let's have Land do another extra attack there. Just focusing down that Necromancer with ranged attacks feels good. Wizards are squishy. Fear effects are nasty, but I think we got it all. And Dark Horn is a glaive. Cold iron. Okay, moving on, uh, I guess let's go to, we were going to try and get over to here, roughly. What did we just run by? Should probably like check in with that, with any NPCs we see. Looting corpses, are you? Uh, <laughs> thought you were demons. Good day. Pearl, is that you? Lady Sela, you're alive. Goodness me. That's the second bit of good news. What was the first bit? Stick around and see for yourself. Uh, can you tell me anything useful? I just left the Defender's Heart. Okay. She's a strict one. Okay. Pearl is, he fights in the Condemned, which are, oh, okay, military, basically suicide squad. Okay. Terribly important and heroic mission. Okay. Hey, there's Jana Adori. Okay, nice. Sure, we could all use a drink. There we go. No need. The heart is very close. The three of us will be enough to fight off an attack if there is one. Very nice. Okay, let me know how you know Sila. Okay, sounds good. There's another uh, successful mission. Perfect. Glad we went back and checked on that. So I believe into this house was where we had... There was something in the basement, if I remember right. There are also apparently traps. Let us be off. Maybe I'm thinking about the wrong thing. Okay.
Their wounds were inflicted by ordinary weapons. So there's cultists around as well. Um, why are we... He's still hellbent on driving you out of the city. Uh, yeah. So, that at least wraps that one up. Temple of Desna. I think there was somebody in here that we were supposed to check in with at Ilkis once we did something. I don't remember if that's... Yeah, we haven't actually gotten that figured out yet. Okay. Um, there's Ramian, and then let's go ahead and see if we can get down to this bottom right corner. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Uh, that could have gone better. But again, swarms are the worst. I will say, I feel like, generally speaking, swarms are better in situations... Or they're more manageable, at least, in situations where you... can kind of control the exact spacing of the battlefield. Um, so I'm sure they would be a little bit more tolerable and turn-based. We really need to get, uh, Bulgif some more, or some better weapons. He's the only one, I think, that's still using just solid Masterwork daggers. I actually considered swapping him and Camellia back out because of that. Um, but I ended up deciding not to. Um, just because he, sneak attack deals so much damage. <laughs> And we already have several casters. Oh, okay. There's an area exit. There's some crusaders. That's a kind of big, scary demon. Focus down the wizard. Or that. Okay. 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 Feels like we're making progress here. Uh, so it looks like there's an area up here. Let's go. I'm assuming if we go down to the end here, this is going to be another area exit. 
Ambien fighter. Okay. That's a lot of enemies. More than I thought. Okay. That was a big spell. Okay. Um, let's have him do a heal. Let's have her heal him. Just so we have a little bit of maintenance on the front line. <laughs> He just got dropped, that's problematic. Okay, we are down to just the two enemies here, at least. are immune to fire. Whoops. Yep, that's the thing I know that I wasn't thinking about. Okay. Yep. So I guess we're just trusting that Land's gonna finish this off. Uh, let's actually see if Blinding Ray will do it. Because if that works, that'll make it harder to hit land. Everybody can get back up, but if these guys drop again while they're at death's door, that's really bad. I tire of waiting. So I think... We are going to... Oh, my. That is a... Okay, I'm a little worried about moving forward here before we heal. Um... Because, yeah, we should definitely pull back here. Uh, there was... Yeah, there were some Eagle's Watch soldiers up here. So let's go ahead and get a campfire. If we are attacked, we can't while enemies are nearby. So here, there's enemies nearby. Here there aren't. They must be like up here. Okay. Night watch. So who's going to be our second watch? First watch, second watch, and I'm actually going to go ahead and double up on that one. Given that we're actually, you know, in the middle of town. I know this isn't going to um, get rid of the Bethified, but I feel like it's better than nothing. Uh, Ember recovered her ability damage. Oh, received some ability damage. Sila recovered, should have recovered from the rest of hers. Um, they burned through the rest of their healing spells to get us back up and running. Together we stand. Let's go ahead and 
remove the rest of our ability damage here. Oh, she has a disease. Yeah. I missed that. Okay. Um, remove disease should be one of these scrolls. I think we have two copies left. No reason to pause. Matritium Turinos. Rely on me. Okay, she still has a little strength damage, but she's not a strength based character, so I'm less concerned about it. Let's go ahead and finish exploring this area. Maybe I should go back. This isn't for us. It's too open. The enemy could be anywhere. The air is weird. You all made it. How's old soul doing? Oh, mongrels. I have so many questions for you. Which tastes better, slugs or cave rats? Uh, we need to make sure everyone who can hold a weapon... Uh, wait... Uh, what are you doing here? It's you! Thanks to you, we made it to the surface! Soul slowed everything down. He's an old man. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and say... Ambush. Perfect. And then let's head this way. And kind of silently hope that we're not going to be finding any more stuff over here. Yep. So there is basically one area left here. Um, this little area down here. Uh, I'm gonna try and finish this. We're gonna check what the, ne the one of the other areas is. See if we can maybe find the storyteller. And of course they get a crit right off the bat. Uh, we do need to make sure that we heal up. Okay, I can hear growling. There's probably still something around here. Looks like there's this area down here, and then this area back behind the fountain. Let's go ahead and move down here. Uh, who's in? Why is... Okay. We're like all s bottlenecked here. Oh, that's not an area we can actually get to. Okay. It looked like you could get through there. I am wrong. Uh, Vermlek. These guys are weird, like, worm-headed guys. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be anything else over here. Actually, So just quick hold up that uh, 
grease to kind of keep those enemies off of our front line. And then we also got some attacks of opportunity from them falling and standing up, which is nice. Um, there is a house down here that I didn't notice. Okay. Specifically trying to keep these two at full health because of that death's door condition. I'll cheer you on from He looking smite evil here and lay on hands. I can't die now. I'm not nearly rich enough. Not nearly rich enough. Make every strike count. There we go. Disable the trap. Pick up all the goodies. Piece of a holy symbol. I'm guessing some of that stuff, like the piece of the holy symbol, is probably gonna get. Uh, I know in the last game, the storyteller collected like relic sets and then could like put them back together. So I'm guessing that's what that is probably connected to. Um, is that the area exit right there? Uh, we are definitely... We got our butts kicked again. <laughs> seems to be happening a lot. Um, I mean, at this level, you know, one good AoE effect like that, like the two things that really hurt us were Burning Arc and um, Uh, yeah, it was Burning Arc and um, Fireball, so that makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and rest again, I guess. It's not my favorite thing at this point, but I feel like it's reasonable. Thus, I have scientifically proven that the maximum distance an arrow can travel is achieved when it is released from a bow at an angle of 45 degrees from the horizon. What? You've done it already? Did you consider wind speed and direction? Then go and run the numbers again. I'll just nap here. Your mumbling about calculations is relaxing. Okay. That's a lot of corruption. Um, different locations have different corruption growths. Rest in a safe location to remove corruption. Okay. And... First one is Arcane Spell Failure, Wisdom, Intelligence, CMG, CMB. 
Okay, so we've built up a bit of corruption. Um, so here's my thought. Blackwing Library is where we would like to get. Um, these ones I'm less concerned about getting to immediately. We also have these two spots over here um, that I think are just for getting reagents and materials. So I'm thinking we might want to try just hitting these two up quick, heading back to Defender's Heart to get rid of Death, uh, Death's Door and uh, Corruption. And then we'll do a, a straight line for the Blackwing Library after that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and call it here. Hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one.